New on Curiosity Stream. Deformed trees, mutated wildlife, and no humans for miles. Ten years after the disaster at Fukushima, see what this irradiated ecosystem can teach us about nuclear fallout on Radioactive Forest. Plus, looking for the most diverse marine life on the planet? Dive into the Coral Triangle and experience a frenzy of wildlife you've got to see to believe on nature's greatest secret. It's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Don't be like Bruce Willis. Get a mask on your face. Come on. We should send him one. That's a great idea. What do you think you'd like? Would you like the skull design or the camo design? Whichever is loose enough to go around his neck. Oh, okay. (laughs) They're both actually pretty loose if you want them to be, or they can be tight. I mean, listen, it's your choice. Either way, you're doing a great job for fighting COVID and a great job for the Washington State Nurses Association if you buy one of these KISW face masks. You want to see them? Go check them out and go buy one. KISW.com. Let's play B. Wednesday, so it's Wackham instead. Whack it. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. And Steve, you've already been whacked once. Yes, he has. Whack it. Could be a twofer. Not today. All right, then. Oh, really? I don't know. (laughs) Okay, buddy. Well, we've got Matthew and Redmond to take you on. Uh, Matthew, are you there? I am. Good morning and Happy New Year, everybody. Happy Happy New New Year, Year. Matthew. We'll see what happens. Steve, get out of here. For he those. has thrown down the gauntlet, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to get whacked again, so uh, you're going to have to bring your game, Matthew. For those playing at home, right. Matthew will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Matthew, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's do it. A duck-billed platypus is one of only three mammals in the world that can do what? Uh, breathe underwater? No. Lay eggs. Yes, lay eggs. The humerus is located in what part of the body? Leg. No. Humorous. Uh, arm. Yes. Who played Jackie in the sitcom That 70s Show? Jackie, 70s Show. Uh, dark hair girl. What's her name? Pap. Meter, leader, and gram are all base units for what system of measurement? Uh, wait. Water. No, no. Wait. Say it again. Meter, leader, and gram are the base units for what system of measurement? Uh, pass. In poker, which face cards are you holding if you have a pair of fish hooks? Jack. Yes. What California city was the setting for the Big Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory. Sacramento? No. San Francisco? No. L.A.? No. What is the official state animal of Wisconsin? Badger. Yes. Who did George Bush Sr. defeat in the election in 1988? 88 Dukakis. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five correct. Oh, the the uh, the leader meter, dude. You and I are about the same age, and what did they try to shove down our throat? In, in as far as teaching us not to go by feet, they didn't want us to like measure things by feet and gallons. Remember that thing they tried to make us all learn as kids? Yeah, well, we rejected it. We did as kids. 
Mm-hmm. And what did they call that that they we rejected? Uh, metric system. There yeah, you go. Well, that's the one, buddy. A lot of late there, but uh, yeah. so we can't count that one. But at I least know. Matt, Hopefully, that's not the out. difference maker. It could be. I know. But I mean, Steve epically failed earlier today. Wow. He did. He's I an epic failure. The way he questioned it too. I was trying to figure out the exact. Yeah, guess All what right, happened? Right. You know what happened, Matthew? You got it wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm eavesdropping on my parents when I was a teen listening to you guys say I'm an epic failure. Oh, whack it. You weren't supposed to come in yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's good to be epic at something. Well, Thank Steve, you. you are putting on your um, uh, uh, little uh, thing there that blocks your face. Uh, the a blindfold? blindfold? Yeah. I can't even wow. say the damn word right. The You're doing a great job. I was going to make fun face. of you about it now. No, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, good job. Pal. I'm bad at this. Are you ready? Yes, yeah. sir. A duck-billed platypus is oh, one of the yeah. only three mammals in the world that can do what? Swim. No. Fly. No. Eat. No. Uh, the humerus is located <laughs> in what eats. part of the body? The knee? No. Elbow. Arm. Yes. Uh, Who played Jackie in the sitcom That 70s Show? Laura Prepon. No. Oh, uh, Prepon. Mila Kunis. Yes. yes. Meter, liter, and gram are all base units for what system of measurement? Measurement. No. Water. No. Liquid. Wow. No. Wow. In poker, which face cards are you holding if you have a pair of fish hooks? Uh, Jack. Yes. Nice call. What California city was the setting for the Big Bang Theory? Uh, San Francisco. No. San Diego. No. Los Angeles. No. What is the official state animal of Wisconsin? Badger. Yes. Who did George Bush Sr. defeat in the election in 1988? Dukakis. Yes. Who directed the 1986 film The Color of Money? Ooh. Um, Ron Howard. No. Um, Martin Scorsese. Yes. And with wow. that, Steve, you win six to five. Oh, it was a difference wow. maker, Matthew, the metric system, my friend. Yeah, yeah. S- sorry, buddy. Well, I ran out of time to get to the other question. Yeah, well, have yeah didn't go. quite get there. Thanks for playing, bud. There you go. Woo. Wow, did he yes. luck out, Steve? Yeah, I kind of think yeah. he lucked oh, out he there. Did, and he lost. Yeah, you lucked out. Buddy. Right um, at the buzzer. Nice shot. See, Matthew knew that the duck-billed platypus is one of the only three mammals that can lay eggs. Are you sure it's not eat? Because there's not a lot of uh, <laughs> mammals that, that eat. eat. You just don't <laughs> yeah, know. You just never don't, know. Yeah. Uh, the meter, the liter, the gram are the base units for the metric system. Nice going, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, BJ asked him again uh, uh, after that to make sure he got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Led the witness pretty long, uh, far along with Took it. a long time ago. Because they tried to ram that down our throats growing up in the 60s and 70s. It's uh, so about easy. the metric system. They should use it. Uh, you say it's easy, but man, when you grow up knowing oh, that yeah. this is what this is in yards and feet and gallons, it was so difficult for my brain to wrap around. But everything's based on 10, and we just have like inches that are like, you know, 12 yeah. inches in a foot, like all these weird random things. I, I, I understand what you're saying. You're absolutely right. It would have been nice if it was universal, but mm-hmm. you know, when you teach somebody and indoctrinate them one way, yeah. oh, it's, totally. hard. it's hard, man. Uh, and then uh, maybe, BJ, you know this one, the California city that was the oh, setting totally for the Big it. Bang Theory. And you got to go deep in this show for this one, Pasadena. Yes, Pasadena. Oh. Yeah, and, I, you know, it's so weird that it's in Pasadena. It's like, you know, it's like I know the little old lady from Pasadena. That there must be some big college that's near there because they worked for a university, you know, <laughs> inside of a university. At least yeah. uh, Leonard, I should say, uh, Sheldon did. Yeah, no idea on that. I just know that they uh, actually used some actual locations to kind of do the references on it. Yeah. And I figured that maybe everyone would kind of know that just because of how popular Big Bang Theory was. But yeah, I guess yeah it's it's funny. You just don't think of, you know, because it's a tech show and geeky guy. You, yeah. Like Steve, you go, you'd probably think the Bay Area first. And that, you're like, yeah, yeah I think you San know, Francisco. You yeah. just think Pasadena? Wow. I don't know much about Pasadena except from that show. Exactly. Uh, well, congratulations, Steve. Uh, you won with six correct. Yeah. Good job, Stevie. Well, uh, we talked about this yesterday, and I swear people are listening to us because yeah. we were asking about Girl Scout cookies yesterday. Yes, we were. We were. And now, today, we get a story. It's like, okay, who's eavesdropping? I mean, I know my phone picks up stuff. Is, is someone else listening? Because Girl Scout cookie sales are going to look a little bit different this year. Uh, uh, you know, they can't go outside, you know, door to door, go tables outside of grocery stores, which I find interesting because they still had Salvation Army people outside grocery stores. 
So right. there's no rhyme or reason. That's what I've just accepted yeah. in life when it comes to what this past year has taught me is that there's no rhyme or reason to anything. And it's just like, all right, whatever. I don't have any complaints about that. I mean, I think they're both great causes. Right. You know what I mean? One I'm giving to, the other one I'm taking from. Well, actually, I'm giving to them as well. So I would support having them be out there get my cookies. They should uh, make little, like, Girl Scout bubbles. Like, you know, like, like, the, like those fun, like, soccer games, like the human bubbles. But, oh, like, I love that. For Girl Scouts. And so that the only, like... They're hands, but they're in gloves, so they don't have to touch it, and they can sell you the cookies still. Well, they and have. Then you, then you can just roll them away when you do. <laughs> okay, that, that's one way. Uh, there's another way that's a bit more convenient, I think, for both sides of this one, and that is they've got together with Grubhub, and they'll be oh. delivering cookies for the first time ever. Oh, no. So you can actually use Grubhub to order cookies if you want to pick them up. We hear all these horror stories of these uh, the, the delivery services. If they're going to show up, and like two of my tagalongs are missing in the box. Exactly. It's, it's Grub Harbor. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know that. I mean, come on, seriously, we're going to let people that are, you know, these delivery services that are infamous for basically eating people's orders. This is the food that anybody would want. Can you just order them online and get them and get them mailed to you? Yeah, I have no idea. You know, I th- I, I don't know if it means anything to you know yeah, it's to- online for first delivery. Oh, for home so, delivery. Yeah, really. So then, what do I need Grubhub for? When you want them now. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe, Maybe that's, that's what it you is. Know, you yeah. have to wait like a couple days at least. Oh, yeah. Totally, it's a good yeah. point. Whereas Grubhub can bring them to me a lot sooner. All right. Well, you can order them online. Um, what does this do, though, for the little Girl Scouts? Like, do they still get the same credit? I mean, they're raising, they're raising money locally for their local, you know, troops. But, mm-hmm. you know, if you're ordering online, does it still count for the local people? Well, it'd be nice if, they could, if you could, like, say, hey, this is for a little Sally. Yeah. And then give all the information. This is for little Stevie. You know, Tater Tot is going to probably be like, she's going to be a, if she's a Girl Scout, she's going to win because her father's going to order all of them. Oh, dude, there's no, I mean, the, there's no debate. She's going to be a Girl Scout whether she wants to or not. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so really? you can get the, So what, so you can get free cookies or a discount? Well, I don't know. I'll talk with her. We could figure out ways wow. to like make an extra oh, couple dollars go. on the side for her and I. How sad will it be that she's in <laughs> therapy 30 years later going, yeah, he may, I, it, just because my father was too damn cheap, I had to be a Girl Scout. Just so we could get the fucking I had the cookies. side hustle at I'm six. I'm not saying I'm being cheap. I'm saying that we can charge people more and then, like, you know, pocket some of that cash. Oh, you're Ooh, the, so you're wow. not wanting to get involved in a black market scam. Yes. Okay. You know what? You're a poor child. What? She's not from poor if I f- figured this out right. Yeah. Or, you know what? She's <laughs> the, be my rich child. She's a little stooge. Part of your schemes. She can't go to jail. And then there's, what is there, like, you know... Husband, wife, child, confidentiality thing. So you're going to skirt those issues? I don't yeah. think that's how that works. I don't know. There's some sort of. I'm sure Steve's going to find some law and loophole. Well, we can maybe just figure out our own noodle thing. Like, like not even be Girl Scouts. We'll be like, I don't know what, but you know, we'll okay. call it a new name. We'll sell our own type of cookies. Yeah, that'll be really good. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out really well for you. <laughs> the knockoff cookies. Yeah, the knockoff cookies, and you'll just uh, the not will, so thin will mints. You, yeah. yeah, will you go buy them from a store? Will you make them? How is this going to happen? You know, Whatever is the cheapest. Way. You, you, so you're going to get the generic, the generic mint cookies, the generic cream filled cookies. Yes. Okay. Here you go. Here's you go to cardboard. Costco and just get a crap ton of cookies. Okay. Oh, good call. All right. Well, listen, I wouldn't argue with that. Costco cookies are good. Yeah, right. Put me down for two boxes of Thin Migs, please. Yeah. Thin Migs. Yeah. <laughs> Thin Migs cookies. Okay. I'm liking it. Hey, I'm look trying to at figure, like what we could be called. Like, what's the cinnamon for Girl Scout? Oh, out, Outrider. So we could be the Lady Outrider. Ooh. Oh, that's so, cool. oh, so that's how you're changing it. You're calling it the Lady Outrider. Yeah, Lady Outriders cookies. Uh, that, that's, 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 I don't know. That's sounds... oh, Lady Spy. A Le- scout is also a spy. Okay. Oh, good call. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're going to call them call them Lady girl... Spy cookies. Okay. Yes. I see. Okay then. Instead of Girl Scouts, Lady Spies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Lady Spy cookies. That's a fantastic name. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Yeah. Okay. Lady Spies. But and I also understand that they're girls. You know, that's the other de- the other thing is you're Ooh. helping children. So said, how, how about call it the Rock Scouts? Oh, the Rock Scouts. Okay. Go ahead. As long as there's cookies, I'm all in. Yeah, you do what you want. If they're Costco cookies, now if you get me some other cheap brand, then I'm I'm not going to buy them. You got to go Costco now. Oh, okay. I want Kirkland brand. If you're not going to go legit Girl Scout, go Kirkland. <laughs> and what are you looking for? Like what type of cookie? Uh, the one that has the word "cook" and "e" in it. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter <laughs> so what kind of cookie. Yeah. I like chocolate. You throw chocolate my way, you're good. And you know that's fine. Don't, I, don't give me that peanut butter stuff you love. Don't don't do that. Oh, you're missing out, man. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, you, you the tagalongs are the best Girl Scout cookie ever created. We have said oh. the Samoas are, and for some reason you keep forgetting that. Even the Rock has agreed 
Hasn't he? Hasn't he said the rock? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> that, somebody was. I you can't somebody, invoke the rock without. I thought knowing. somebody big in Steve's world said they love Samoa. You could be right, but I don't remember that. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'm making it up because I want the rock to just love everything I love. Is that what you're going to do now? Whenever you want me to be into yeah. something, yeah. you like, the rock likes it. The rock enjoys throwing kittens. He just said it. He loves throwing. He just loves it. Okay, uh, it is time for listeners on the loose. Enough of this. It's time for you to take over this show and bring it back to the greatness it used to be. 206-421-ROCK. You can also text us at 77999. Listeners on the loose. Your calls, your texts at 917 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 9.9 KISW, the Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show at 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Hey, if you got no power, we'll give you the power right here in the show. Thankfully, cell phones play radio because if you have no power and you're trying to listen to the radio in your house, you're not listening to us. That's a good point. I know. It made me think, like, should I get, like, a battery-operated radio again? I mean, it's like, damn, I I didn't realize how reliant I was on non-battery-powered devices. <laughs> so long as your phone works, man, you're good. Yeah. But what if that doesn't have power? Then go to your car and charge it. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. All right. I mean, unless you want to just unnecessarily buy something, go ahead, man. I'm, oh, yeah, you, you. I'm not telling you what to do with your life. I make plenty of unnecessary purchases. Thank you. I just want to be prepared. I'm like that. So, yeah, if you right now you have the power to call us at 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Don't forget Steve's one rule. It's a simple rule, BJ. Just show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, we're going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. All right, what do we got, Steve? Uh, we do have a text message, and it's probably the most important question of the year. Granted, okay. We're only 13 days into the year, but I think it's the most important question. What is the best pizza out there when it comes to crust? Oh. Thin, stuffed, pan, hand-tossed, or deep dish? Oh, man. Why? Ooh. I like a thin crust, but still with like a good, girthy crust. I mean, I, no, I like my... <laughs> the, 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 uh, the dough to be kind of thin, but then the crust has still got like some thickness to it. Is that what he's asking? Like kind of crust? Is yeah. It, so he the, he doesn't mean like the crusty end, but the whole the I'm, whole thing. I'm whole, thinking like the whole pizza. The like whole a, pizza. Because a deep dish, yeah. it's like that's the whole pizza. Yeah. Uh, a pan pizza is really good. Wow. I know, um, right? Yeah. Boy, I do. You know, I do like a hand tossed. I have to say, <laughs> and I also like pizza. I also like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Man, about. Really, the moral of the story is I like all pizza. Yeah. It really kind of depends with me. I mean, the only time I'm ever going to get deep dish now is if I'm in Chicago. Yeah. Because that's just where it is. But, man, I used to think that, like, New York style was kind of dorky. But uh, there's a couple of places in Tacoma that just make some really good New York style that is just like, these are really, really good. No, New York style is fantastic. Yeah, know. even just having a straight cheese pizza. Like, I would How never do that. Be? Yeah, it's like, it sounds so boring. But it's good. Dude, the place Dino's here in Capitol Hill area here in Seattle, like Ted and I obsess over that place. Like anytime we get together, we try and find a reason to get it. And it's really an easy reason. Just order it and pick it up. That's a good reason. But they have like, it's like a Sicilian, but it's not really the Sicilian style, but it's like a pan pizza mm-hmm. that they do. Pan pizza's good. And it's just, I mean, I think it's because like the, the pans that they're using probably like been just grease on them and been used for like years that it just creates even like, it's almost like a Detroit style pizza mm-hmm. and it's so freaking good. Uh, yeah, again, that's the thing. Like, almost every pizza is good pizza, except, of course, Dion's in New Mexico. That's a well, horrible that's, pizza. I don't even call that pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why they're still allowed to serve that because I thought the FDA was getting involved. In a perfect world, like, if I do end up winning this lottery, you know, which I, <laughs> I need to actually buy a ticket. But if I do win it, I think I want to get a pizza oven put in my new house that we will build. Oh, hell yeah. You just got into a house. You're going to build a new house. If I won $400 million... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the water. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're going to the water? And you're going to make a boat? Oh, we were, no, no, I mean, oh. on the water. Oh, okay. But we're going to have, I mean, I'm going to full on gym attached to the house. Okay, With a Good wrestling job. ring inside there and a float tank, of course. All right, there we a go. A full recording studio. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. For music with amps, everything ready to go, plug and play. Okay, this a is A podcast good. studio so I could do my podcast, which is just about me being rich. Okay, <laughs> it's a good podcast. <laughs> well, I mean, I got to talk yeah. about what I know. Uh, hey, listen, you're going to know about being rich. And now I need a wood fire pizza stove thingy that'd be okay so what is your wife getting anything at all in this the deal? gym that's what she said oh oh so the gym is for her i thought yes. it was for you oh, oh, i was gonna okay. say her own house all right. <laughs> no some guy named jim he's gonna yeah. be oh, wow. playing with all my toys it's, it's about time that you got her the gym she wanted <laughs> 
She's Jim been Parsons. Asking, she's she yeah, wants yeah, yeah, Jim Parsons. Wow. From, from the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, Sheldon? she wants Sheldon to live with us. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, wouldn't it the, be great to have one, like, one of those pizza ovens? Oh, I was going to say, wouldn't it be great oh, to have yeah. Jim Parsons living in our house? I'd be like, well, yeah, he seems like a delightful guy. Oh, man, Vicky's showing me somebody's house where they have it with the bricks and everything. Is it outside? No, it's in their house. Oh, uh, oh, that, oh, they, they, oh, I saw one that was outside. I see that. Oh, they, I've seen those, too. The inside's pretty cool. All right. Wow, that's a... Boy, that's a house right there when you have your own pizza oven in your house like, I, built into your kitchen. I know a person who wanted to... Uh, actually, they did build their own pizza oven, like, outdoors. The problem was, was they made it too big, and it takes... Too, it takes too much energy and too much wood to actually get it to heat up. Oh. So it's absolutely useless. He can't use it to cook anything but like, like an amazing amount of pizzas, like 10 or 20 pizzas. Wow. Because it's just too big. You wish he should put in there is one of those, like I saw it like on Shark Tank, somebody created like the, the wood fired experience, but it's like a small little like portable thing. Oh yeah, it's oh, like really? like a little like it's almost like a convection oven, but it like does like the wood fire style for your pizza. So you, you can do put that, that right now. There. You can do that right now, and you won't have to win the lottery. Yeah, I mean that's if I want to be you know broke. Steve will do that. I'm talking about rich Steve. He wants the full on pizza oven. All right, fair enough. Yeah. I feel like though that uh, broke Steve really should take over here because the chances of you winning are pretty bad. That's a pretty good point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listeners on the loose, you pick the topic, you guide the show, 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. Someone just said, hey, today's my 47th birthday. Can I get a shout out? Uh, Richie Looney Ramirez. Love oh, you guys. Really? Listen every night on Radio.com. Oh, that Aww. is awesome. Thank you for listening on Radio.com and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Richie. Yeah, 47. Wish him a happy birthday. And- oh, come on, baby. Feliz cumpleaños, Richie. Ay, papi. Yeah. <laughs> that did it, yeah. Give it a shout. Very, very nice. Hey, you see that? There you go. Big question. Yes, sir. Sarah wants to know, any of you guys doing dry January? Doesn't Sarah usually do it? I was doing it, and then the Seahawks lost. Hello, whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to do a dry January when your team's in the playoffs. That's tough. Especially when your team barely is in the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ex- yeah, exactly. That, I've, all the first-round teams, it really sucks. And, and a lot of them were shocked because, you know, usually the wild cards are the ones you expect to go out. And they know, well, we were happy to be here. So many wild card teams won over the weekend. Well, that's why a lot of people, I mean, look, obviously it doesn't make it feel better but in a weird way like i was happy that the browns won because at least national sports media when they talk about the weekend the big talk is not the seahawks being beat by the rams it's yeah the brand the browns just crushed the the, the steelers yeah all right sorry are you still doing dry january because you do it every year i usually do it every year oh, usually that's yeah. not a good sign. oh boy i made it a solid week and i was proud of myself I pre- oh a whole week i pretended the week was like the whole month because uh, I don't know, I just got so many bottles of wine and champagne for my birthday and for Christmas, and they're all, they were all just there. And honestly, there's not really much to do. But yeah, I, I, I think everything has changed until we get back to some semblance of normal, like all your dry Januarys and your sober Octobers and all that. Until we all get vaccinated up and they tell us we can go out and do stuff again to some degree, I think all of these things are off. Like, do what you can just to keep from going crazy. Yeah. Plus, I'm hoping to do it eventually sometime this year. Just like a different month. January just didn't feel right. I still yeah. feel like we should party, you know? We should still party. I'm still with you, party. Sarah. I, 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 you know, we just, uh, we, one of my buddies just had a birthday, and we always celebrated at this particular convention that we go to, OrcaCon. And like, OrcaCon. It, it, seems like the long, it seems like this is the first time in a long time. Did I say it's a whale of a good time? Please say <laughs> Oh, they do have a whale as an icon. I well, mean, they I show. Mean, oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they have a thing. They don't, they, they don't, they don't go with a lot of your ideas, Steve. Um, <laughs> but yeah, of course, no, we didn't do it this year, at least live, because all the cons pretty much have been canceled, like everything has been canceled. And it was sad seeing his, you know, and here he was for his birthday, because his birthday is always a big deal, because it's always usually during OrcaCon weekend. And everybody's just like, here he is. Yep, thanks for the birthday wish. All kept people people kept doing was posting pictures of the past time where he was there hanging out, and this year he's got nothing. Remember when you could do stuff? Yeah, it was like, happy birthday. I remember last year we did this, and this year we're doing nothing for you. Good day, sir. Yeah, that was like my birthday. A bunch of my friends posted, because usually I have this huge hotel suite, and we all go to the club, so there was a lot of like, oh, remember all the past years? And then this year it was just me alone dancing in my birthday dress by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, Drinking, people would think a nice romantic getaway with your boyfriend would be a wonderful way to spend anything. And you were just, you were like, this sucks. 
Yeah. It's not what I wanted. Yeah. In my tiara, just moping. And then, of course, the Seahawks did terrible because we watched the game on my birthday, too. So then my boyfriend's just in a bad mood. It was great. Ah, oh, romance. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so says, how about you do February? It's the shortest month. It's easier to do. You know, I was thinking of that, too, but there's Valentine's Day. Oh. Um, well, you right? got to get liquored up yeah, for Valentine's right? Day, and especially then, if you're with somebody you hate. <laughs> oh, <sad>. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Not speaking from what experience. What you trying to right say? Now. Oh, I, was like, yeah. I think she likes Johnny. Yeah. yeah, right. No, I'm not talking about anybody particularly in this room. Yeah, and then March is is our anniversary and um, St. Patrick's Day. So you know, maybe. yeah, really, you're running. You screwed. Maybe. Maybe. About April. April. Maybe. April, April is only like you know what May flowers. What, what, what do you do? Tax uh, day. Easter. Oh, oh tax day. Tax, tax, tax day. day. Yeah, Easter and tax <laughs> day. Yeah. May. Easter, Easter Bunny always says, "Let's get liquored up." Yeah, let's get hammered on Cinco Easter. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Well, that yeah, May is June. out and March is out. Well, and then you go to summertime. What about June? Well, hopefully summertime. There's a lot of barbecues. Well, outdoor. June is uh, no July screwed for Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing going on in June, right? Is there really? No, yeah, the sunshine's out, and that's just an excuse to day so, drink. What about uh, January twenty twenty two? Okay, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. we'll see. We'll see how we'll see how we're doing then. I I'm, hope I'm I, still dry on January. Really? Dry on what? Alcohol. <laughs> I don't even know you're much of a drinker. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, it's not, I'm, it's not, like, I'm not doing it for any reason other than I just don't drink. Yeah, I mean, it's like <laughs> I don't oh. remember the last time I had a drink. Uh, when was it? Wow. I don't even know. That's wow. probably that's that's why you're not a drinker. Night at Ted's house. That's impressive. We don't even have alcohol in our house. Oh, oh now hold oh. on a second. We had How all these going? wine bottles that we got for Tatum's birthday, but she polished those off before I even had a chance. <laughs> yeah, I knew well, I liked her it, better it, than you. Yeah, Holy it's, ratchet. It's her birthday. What do you want? Plus, it's COVID. She couldn't have the big party she wanted. It's the big one. Yeah. Who doesn't drink on their first birthday? <laughs> I agree. I know I did, so she's following the right footsteps. Okay. Like so I'm staying dry. I'm dry, BJ. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good job staying dry. I have way better will- willpower than any of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <Me too. laughs> you pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. More of your calls, more of your texts at 934 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies come superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross to the gourmet, Mm. see how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you got the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Uh, somebody had a big question. You know, obviously football is out of the talk right now on, because of the Super Bowl playoffs and all that good stuff. So I want to know what our prediction is for the Super Bowl matchup. Their belief Saints versus the Chiefs. The Saints? I don't know, man. They had a really? Tough... Yeah. I'm surprised at that pick. I mean, I know they beat the the Bears pretty well, but, I mean, they only got 20 points on them, so I don't know. Uh, I I honestly, the way I saw the Bears play the Chiefs and the Bears, I mean, mean the Chiefs, the the Bears play the Saints, I thought that their defense did a pretty decent job, and it's nowhere near as good as the Rams' defense. Well, I mean, decent. Dude, they held them to three points until the final play of the game. I think they did a great job. Uh, The the Saints? Yeah. When that said, the score was 20-9? to 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they held him to three points until the final play of the game. Are you talking? No, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying the Bears defense. That's oh, the Saints defense. Oh, okay. Now I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. Okay, yeah, I got confused. Yeah, yeah. The, My bad. I'm, yeah, no. That, yeah. The, so the Saints. Yeah, the Saints. So the yes. So the Bears defense did a pretty decent job, yeah. and that's why I'm saying the Rams defense is going to be a oh. ton better than that. So who do you think it's going to be in the Super Bowl? Uh, that's why you know I. I, I I think I got to go with the Packers. I think the Packers have a better chance of beating the Rams than the Saints do. Uh, that's my mm-hmm. belief. Versus, and versus well, it's, look, I mean, it's either going to be Buffalo or the Chiefs. I'm going to give the edge to the Chiefs because they've been there and they know how. And I'm not familiar enough with either you know with either defense to know who's like a, a better edge at stopping a high powered offense, whether it be the Chiefs or the Bills. I don't know them enough, so I, I'll go with either one of those two teams. Though Lamar Jackson could be a wild card. I'm not counting the Ravens out either yeah. because they. He's looking really good, but I feel like the, at least the Chiefs should be able to figure him out. And also, Patrick Mahomes is pretty damn good. He's okay. Yeah, I mean, he's good. he's really good at his Kermit the Frog impression. Yeah, he, he never breaks character. <laughs> and Josh Allen is pretty damn See, good. See, I'm too. thinking the Bills might actually go all the way this year. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm getting that vibe. Although, what I'd like to see. I'd like to see the Cleveland Browns in the Super Bowl, so we could say taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. Hell, that yes. would be fun, and they would take on. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just because I don't think I've seen a team play at home for a Super Bowl. In the, in the oh, games Tampa, in Tampa and Tampa, yeah. I just think it'd be really interesting to see that. Well, Tom Brady would solidify. I don't think it's going to be the finals, but that's just what I, if I had the choice. If Tom Brady somehow miraculously, because we haven't even talked about the Bucks, you're right, but if he miraculously gets to the Super Bowl, does he not solidify himself as just the uh, the GOAT, 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 GOAT? Because you throw him on another team altogether and he can make it happen. It just makes me feel so much worse about the Seahawks if Tom Brady goes to the next round. If he goes to the conference championships, I'm going to be pissed. I really am going to be pissed. <laughs> Imagine being so Bill Belichick. If he go, that'd be kind of fun. Do you hate Bill Belichick or Tom Brady more? Well, who didn't want to get the, the, the personnel he wanted? Like That was why he left, right, Joe? They wouldn't get him the, the O-line that he wanted? Yeah, his O-line was bad, and Cam Newton got beat up this year. Uh, no yeah. way. So is, that, <laughs> so is that a Belichick problem, or is that a general manager problem? It's a winning problem. When you win that many years in a row, it's hard to get good draft picks. That's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really is true. I mean, that's another thing that's pretty amazing about the Patriots legacy. Of course, I think it's cheating. That's the other part of it. Uh, Steve, I think the Browns versus the the, the uh, Bucks would be fun. It would be a super fun. It super would be Bowl. a great story if the Browns were in the Super Bowl because super they're old quarterback versus a young so up and comer. Yeah. All right, I like it. All right, let's I do like, it. I like it. I, yeah, yeah. If Joe, what are you thinking? My dream would be Bills versus Bucks, mostly because I love Josh Allen, and of course, I got to see Tom Brady in there. I want to see Josh Allen win it because he said he will go through not one, but multiple tables, flaming tables, if they win the Super Bowl. What? Oh, you mean the like Bill's the Bills Mafia style? Oh, the Bills oh, Mafia. Oh, no way. <laughs> he said that earlier in the season, and some wow. guy interviewed him recently and said, do you still stand by going through a table? He goes, I said tables, and I'm going to go through them. <laughs> I'm like, Josh Allen, you're my hero. They love him up there, by the way. How they could really you not? Do. They love him up there. I mean, it's been a long time since Buffalo's had anybody to cheer about, really. That Super yeah, Bowl they, celebration, yeah. if the Buffalo Bills wins the Super Bowl, yeah. I don't know who, what company it is that makes tables, but they better start manufacturing more tables because it's going to be... More insane than a tables, ladders, and chairs match at WrestleMania. I have a lot of you know I have a lot of friends in uh, Western New York, so that's why I really will be rooting for the Bills anyway. Because I mean, I, you know, I mean, I've, I work with a lot of people up there, and it's been so long, and four Super Bowls in a row, and losing all four. I mean, that's a team that really you know you you want to see win. So it says there's never been a team in the Super Bowl playing. Uh, in their home stadium. Yeah. So that would be a cool little piece of history, too. I don't think that would be a problem. And it's Tampa Florida, so you know they'll just sell every ticket to that game. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right about <laughs> they don't that. Give enough. I know they don't care about a damn thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it'll be fun to watch. There's a lot of teams that can get in there that I think we can, that we'll enjoy. That's the good thing about this year. There's a lot of teams. You like the Browns. You like mm-hmm. the Bills. You like the Bucks. You know, uh, the Rams. I got to say, you know. I don't want to see the Rams in the Super Bowl. I, I'm always a believer that the team that beat my team, if they go all the way, that makes me feel good. At least we were beaten by the best team. I don't want to ever see any team that's in the same division have success. I know. You and I are philosophically opposed on this one, and I totally like that when the team in my division goes all the way. Because then I can go, hey, guys, you see who we had to play all season? We played them twice. We were lucky to even get a, to get a 12-4 and <laughs> record. So I want to know, speaking of football, what do you guys think about Schottenheimer being fired? So, yeah, offensive coordinator yeah. for the Seahawks, Brian Schottenheimer, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I, um, here's what I don't understand. How did he get hired in the first place? I mean, Mitch made some really good points with us on Monday. What is going on that 
Pete knows the kind of guy that he is, like what he wants to be. And how did he bring in a guy that is not a run first guy, apparently, because he decided to focus more on Russell passing more? And how, how did he let that happen? And they said that that was the problem is that there's a philosophical issue, which I got to imagine that he wanted to do more throwing and, and Pete wanted to do. Some people are saying like that's part of like we saw Shoddy's offense in the first half of the season. But then when the team started figuring it out. He didn't make any adjustments, and Pete kind of pulled back on, like, you know, because Pete hates turnovers. So there was a few interceptions during that time as as things got a little bit worse for wear for the Seahawks. So I'd imagine that there's, like, something in him that's just like, you got to stop doing what you're doing because I'm sick of all these turnovers. Yeah, well, Pete, we're, you know, maybe you ought to talk to the whoever, and I'm, I'm sick of you drafting all these defensive guys when you paid a skillion dollars to your quarterback. You need to make sure he's got people around him. Why? Otherwise, why pay him that money? Yeah, I'm torn on this, like, but... I mean, at the end of the day, like, they needed to make a change. You couldn't go back into it. I think people would just lose their minds if, if either Pete had to go or Schoenheimer had to go, and obviously Pete's not going anywhere. You just hope they find an offensive coordinator that can do what Pete wants, but still, you know, take advantage of the talent that they have on offense with Russell's arm and his ability to just pinpoint the pass and, and, and guys like, DK Metcalf and, and, and Tyler Lockett, how do you, how, you don't want to, I mean, I don't think they're going to just go, we're just going to run 95% of the time, but, you got to have an offensive coordinator that can make an adjustment when a team has you figured out during the game. And that game against the Rams was just like, I mean, when Aaron, Aaron Donald was out, how did they not capitalize on that? And that, yeah, his backup got two sacks. I know. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Steve, I, the other thing is we have to remember that as much as you want to be a running team, even if you want to, the amount of running backs that we've had injury issues with, it's insane. I mean, all of them, True. list them from whatever, Rawls all the way up until basically Carson, and everybody in between has had massive issues. You can't have a running game if you don't have the talent. No. And they, and they can't stay healthy. And there was a moment where they were using guys that weren't even, like, that weren't even their first or second. I mean, you had Hyde and, and, and obviously Carson, and they weren't even playing. And they had yeah. that Dallas kid who was doing okay. And then they had to bring back Collins, who had a couple good moments. But those aren't starters for you. And, you know, so if you got the stud receivers and you got the stud quarterback, where are the stud pocket protectors? Where are the stud guys up front, that, you know, at that point? I, I, I just don't get it. I'm oh. curious. I'm very excited to see who's going to be the offensive coordinator, though. How are you supposed to have a run-first offense if you don't have an offensive line? Well, that, that would hey, help. stop bringing that up. Like, okay, that we're make tired. Any of this. Sense. Honestly, if you're going to bring up logic to this, and I'm sorry, but if Ken Norton is still on the team next year, I am not happy because the defensive adjustments that they, I'm sorry, our defense wasn't great, but my God, it seems like we just couldn't figure anybody out. I know, and, and, uh, and to be devil's advocate, because I agree, like it was very frustrating, but there was a lot of injuries, and also, I mean, things changed once they got Dunlap. I think he added a lot to that team. He made other players around him better on top of him being just a force out there. I mean, part of me thinks they got to figure out a way to keep that dude, and I know he's probably going to want a couple dollars, but I know he wants to play with Seattle. I saw him like, well, I mean, you know, I believe everything on social media, and he yeah. said that he wants to stay here, but I would imagine he wants to stay here if they're going to, like, you know, hand him a couple dollars. See, that's the problem. How do you keep these defensive guys when you paid so much money to the quarterback? Only fans. Russell Wilson needs to start an OnlyFans. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. I'll subscribe. You know what I remembered, Joe? You know what I remembered? And this is another reason why you're going to hate Tom Brady. Didn't Tom Brady at one point decide yes. to take a bit of a haircut so that he could get better people? He took a big cut. I think he was getting paid like $5 million a year at one point. Yeah. So uh, Russ needs to take a big pay cut. Yeah, he does. He can hit up Vicky to figure out how to do OnlyFans. Yeah. And then he'll do OnlyFans. Vicky hasn't even started OnlyFans. The only uh, thing we should get with him, you're wrong. You're Vicky's, on, Vicky's on OnlyFans. What, you got you're on? Wrong. Yeah, they I got on you. it. Yeah. How come they I don't hear about, about this? Because it's weird to go up to you and be like, hey, guess who's posting naughty pictures online for money? Wait. <laughs> I didn't know they were naughty. I thought you were doing non-naughty. I'm not doing nudes, <laughs> but I'm doing saucy, kind of boudoir-esque. I thought she wasn't yeah. going to do that either. I thought she was just going to like show her feet or something. Well, I mean, I well, that's part request. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, are these pictures that you would show me? I mean, I could, but I think I'd still make you uncomfortable. Like, I feel nice. like if I take like a pretty selfie, I still think that would be weird to be like, BJ, look at my selfie. I don't mind seeing a nice picture of you. I mean, as long do as you're not a nice naked. picture of me. I don't want to see any pictures of you. You're next to me every freaking day. You know, I mean, seriously, I'm looking at you right now. What do I need to see a picture of you for? Unless you're bending know. over, then okay, then Whoa. maybe I want to see a picture. I do. Fine, then I won't show you these nice pictures of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You know, I mean, nice. you know, where's the, you know, where's where's the beef? That's all I'm saying. Well, for you know, four ninety nine, you can see that. So, Vicky, you can, have you got any action? Yeah, I mean, people I, paid you. Yeah, I have like thirty one followers right Honestly, now. Honestly, why didn't anybody tell me this? Nobody tells me. I'm not going to be the one to tell you that. Who's going to tell you it? I think it'd be weird. Somebody to tell that you. works on the show. I told you. Think? you it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you told me. How long has this been going on? Since yesterday, I found out. Yeah. So uh, it's only been 24 hours. How long? So it's been 24 hours? No, it's been about a week. 
Yeah. But that was like me setting it up and like. So you're doing the soft face. launch until you could get yes. to the hard launch. Yes. Were. <laughs> this is a very interesting choice okay. of words. Wait till we go to the convention and Vicky says she has an OnlyFans page. They, they hate our show as it is, and That's Vicky's the one that gets us in all the trouble. With their stick up there, you know where I know, be but they get us. Vicky gets Are us in they? trouble because they go, "You guys are so not you're not for women." I go, "Do you understand? It's the woman on our show that you hate. We're nice people, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to see my OnlyFans." Yeah, that's true. Nobody really does. But shout out to Jose, who sent me 69 cents on Venmo. Jose Garcia, yeah. I appreciate nice. you. Thanks, Jose. It's like, which cracked me up. And he wrote, sexual favors. Thanks, Megs. <laughs> that was the caption he put. <laughs> and that shows up on your feed. Those someday, are so great. Someday you're going to get investigated, and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I mean, they're going to first all the 69 cents. First of all, the FBI is going to go, all right, I mean, we're doing a sting on prostitution, but 69 cents, sir, what are you doing for 69 cents? Why has this guy had multiple 69 cents donations? I mean, he's rung up about $4 in 69 cents donations. Boy, oh boy. (laughs) What kind of, what kind of a prostitute are you, sir? Don't talk to me. Talk to Jose Garcia. He's the one who sent me the 69 cents. Good point. Yeah. I don't know what you have to do in return, but I don't want to know. Well, I told him thanks for a good time. Yeah. All right. Good job. (laughs) All right, here's a big question that has to be answered beyond Vicky's OnlyFans, beyond what the hell Steve's doing with Jose for 69 cents. Here's a big question. What do Ryan Castle and a fireplace have in common? I'm going to tell you at 951 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. And now... The Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and a fireplace have in common? A burning sensation. Yeah. <laughs> right so, on his... Yeah. That's the first text. Both leave you with a burning sensation. They there do. you go. Steve gets burned by both. Oh, Steve. Well, it happens, you know. Yeah, in December, it. you can find a fat man in a red suit in both. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why wait for December? Yeah, I feel like... I it's agree. A, yeah, I think, Brian, it's every month of the year. Uh, here's a wonderful story. It happened on Saturday. Someone in Texas tried to get rid of their Christmas tree, and they decided, you know how I'm going to do it? I am going to put it in my fireplace and light it up. And I can basically at all burn of it, it at once? Yes, it burned it for heat. Wait. What's a great idea? What's wrong with that? Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, apparently because the dry needles and sap catch on fire way too fast, leads to tons of smoke, leads to, oh my God, I burned the house down. Well, that's what's wrong with that. Yeah, so it spread, yeah. And the fire spread down the tree and went right into the living room because, well, they, yeah. Uh, now, the fire department was able to put out the fire before the house burned completely down, but they did a lot of damage to their house. So, yeah, they're smart people. Ryan Castle, he's a smart people. He's got a 12-pack. Thanks. There. DJ and Migs play of the day. So I don't fart in front of most people, but there's a few people that I will do it with. And when I was in high school, it was my brother and my next door neighbor. And we would have a competition who could make theirs the loudest. And I found that if you do a bare ass on the toilet lid, you can get a really good noise. Up oh. against a door, too. Yes. Okay. And anyone else playing, playing the fun little game with their significant other right now where you fart and then they get upset with you and they're like, it stinks. And you're like, just checking to make sure you don't have COVID. <laughs> DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I have a mountain of credit card bills and consumer debt. Can I still keep my house if I file bankruptcy? Yes, you almost always can keep your home and, and your house, your car in a, in a bankruptcy. Depending on what type of bankruptcy you file uh, would depend on whether or not, for example, you can keep your vehicles if you have payments on them still. You can almost always keep your home if you're current on the payments on your home, even in full bankruptcy. In Chapter 13, uh, you can also keep those items. If you're behind on your house, you could catch your house payments up in a Chapter 13, take off a second mortgage in a Chapter 13. So keeping your, your primary assets like a home and car is almost always possible in bankruptcy. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. And thanks for listening. 
New on Curiosity Stream. Deformed trees, mutated wildlife, and no humans for miles. Ten years after the disaster at Fukushima, see what this irradiated ecosystem can teach us about nuclear fallout on Radioactive Forest. Plus, looking for the most diverse marine life on the planet? Dive into the Coral Triangle and experience a frenzy of wildlife you've got to see to believe on nature's greatest secret. It's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only.